it's your boy Big Hurry Spartan here. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. I've been a little bit um, under the weather. I spent most of yesterday sleeping. It's about 6:30 in the morning. I went to bed. Woke up, been up and down. I just haven't been sleeping well, haven't been feeling well, but, you know, you guys had quite a bit of support for the last set, so we thought we would, uh, get another one out to you, um, and I appreciate it. This one's the Chubby Glaive, did not name that, just to be clear. What she got is the Freeze Gale 1, the Katachi Helm Alpha, the High Metal Male Alpha, the Diablo Van Braces Beta, the Basil Coil Alpha, the Diablo Screws Beta, and while I have the Fitness Charm 3, I don't remember what it takes, I built this a long time ago for the Fitness Charm, um, and you might only be able to get up to 2, but it'll still do exactly what it should need it to until the end of the game anyways. Um, and then the Vitality Mantle. So what this gives us is Diablo's Mastery 2, Constitution 5, Earplugs 4, Trimmer Resist 2, Ice Attack 2, Slugger 2, Stamina Thief 2, Heroics 2, Airborne, and Jump Master. Now, obviously, Airborne and Jump Master uh, increase damage, negate knockback during jumps. And stamina Thiefs to exhaust at, uh, whatever you're fighting as you go. Um, this set is about staying airborne. Kind of funny, that's why we named it the Chubby Glaive, because it's about staying airborne and, well, I mean, you look pretty fat. Um, Heroics is just kind of there. It's not really needed, neither is the Tremor Resist. But I wanted to get the Diablo's Mastery just because of how quick you lose sharpness when you don't have the Freeze Gale 2, which is the final version of it. Constitution, when you're airborne, decreases your stamina consumption. And it helps you stay airborne longer. It helps you keep the transitions up for when you hit the ground and get back up into the air, keeping that fluid and consistent. Now, for what we had, we weren't able to get Earplugs 5 in on the set. Um, however, I will probably, if you guys want to see a set that has that, I can work that in for this to make it kind of function the same way. But Earplugs is to simply keep you from, uh, it helps you with the roars. Um, most monsters at level 4 anything under elder dragon for the most part you can stay on top of minus like basil and some of those um and their roars won't affect you in, just in general uh nergigante will affect you at five i don't remember what other elder dragons it is but it does its job either way because you get roared out of the air you hit the ground you're not on the ground for very long trim resist while it's not necessary it does help quite a bit um because when you hit the ground and there's a tremor attack you're able to get up at from it much faster. Ice attack, because the Freeze Gale has, is an ice insect wave, you can change that out, but you'd have to remove, you'd still have ice one as the uh, byproduct of the chest plate. So, I mean, you know, you can tweak it up however you guys feel like. Uh, Slugger 2 for the insect. The insect does have the ability to stun. I made sure to look into that. Um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and get on to a hunt. And while we're on the hunt, I will definitely uh, explain and point out the, the parts where each of the perks help you out. <sighs> uh, I apologize. I'm very under the weather. Um, while I'm getting ready, normally, you know, I was thinking about starting to skip over into the fight scene. But I thought I'd ask you guys while I have you guys here. Um, we were thinking about a couple different sets. We talked about some. I was thinking about doing a hammer set or kind of like a Mimi uh, bow set that's designed to mount. Um, in all truth and reality, um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, if you guys want to, let me know down in the comments section. I will try to have another one up. I'm trying to keep these kind of spaced out. I just had some time so uh, I went ahead and recorded this one so let me know what you guys think um, of the set what you guys think of me doing another set um, before this was the sleep blades this one's gonna be the chubby glaive um, 
and uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next ones, but, you know, give me some general feedback. Um, the general consensus behind most of these sets is that you can have them before Nergigante, and that they function for after you take out the Elder Dragons and you finish the game, and so you start getting augments and you get into some of the event stuff like the Gambas. Right there. Helps out with four right there. You don't take nearly as long to get back up and going. And like I said, the key to this is all about staying airborne. And I'm sure some of you guys are thinking, Ice is not the best element. I get that. Ice is best for Teostra, but still. You know, the idea behind this is just to showcase the set. And it's designed for most people who are still fighting Nergigante. Or have, like, just gotten to this part, or just after. Or they're getting ready to start high rank. Technically, you can build all of this, all the prereqs to this, um, before Pink Brathian, I want to say. I mean, you'd have to do some farming and a little bit of work, but it's definitely doable. So, and I've definitely, during all this, found a really good interest in having the Insect Glaive bit for the air. I don't normally use it, so... Um, what was I thinking? I normally stay on the ground, but I do use it too. Just not that familiar. Right there, man. The part breaks. Um, the slugger, I think, helps with that. Not totally sure. But the stamina thief will kick in towards the end of the fight. It'll be kind of nice. It'll be about the point where you kind of worn out. Been hunting it for a minute. It's getting kind of to the hard part once you get towards the end. You're clutching it at the end. Um, and what happens is because he gets uh, stamina reduction, he actually will move slower. Which is really convenient for a lot of this. Come on, give me a red. Alright, that's fine too. There you go, Bob. That was a big shot, but sure, give me orange. Now, I had my friend instruct me, uh, who's an Insect Glaive user, on where, like, all the different Kinsect, uh, stuff is for Nergigante. I still seem to be having some issues here. Um, they gave me some pointers. I did some practice runs. Uh, I recorded some practice runs, but I still didn't do very well on a lot of them. So, we'll see how this one goes. Um, the one I, like, died, like, right at the end, I got caught going in and just snagging a Nergigante dive bomb to the face. Went the whole time with no issue. Got in at the end, Kinergigante dive bomb to the face. Rolled in. And just some shit happened after that. I was mad at that point. Woo! Double mount. Okay, so this is where the extra damage from the Jump Master kicks in and the fact that the Diablo Splugener comes together. It allows you, even though I have worn sharpness, to maintain a pretty good damage value. And as you can see, it helped me with mounting. Um, which is going to be really good, because while it's down on the ground, I will be able to sharpen. The other thing that's really good about this is, as you guys saw, my stamina was not that depleted for me staying airborne most of this time. Um, and the only way that's accomplished was because of Constitution. As you guys can see, the Constitution does not remove much from my stamina. Stop roaring. Oh, okay. Um, so apparently the first thing he's going to do is dive bomb. And I do not have flash pods, but I recommend you guys bringing them if you have the earplugs. Um, because if you have them equipped whenever he goes to dive bomb, you actually can flash him out of the air. Yeah. 
And actually, heroics right there saves your ass. Um, if you have enough health when you take a Nergigante dive bomb, heroics actually does kick in. And it's really nice because it, it helps you kind of shave it. It's kind of like getting guts without having guts. Um, guts keeps you from, like, carding from a certain health point. And while that's not what quite what that does, um, it does help out with doing so. The other biggest problem is that I get kind of cocky up in the air. And it's important to, like, watch where your red health bar is at, and I don't always do that. Um, part of that's because, one, this is a and I'm not gonna lie, I, I just get cocky as shit. The other part is I'm used to having a much higher defense rate, so I don't take this kind of damage normally against one like this. And as you can see here, the exhaust is kicked in. We slow down, we're about halfway through the fight. And that hurts. takes him longer to make the motions and allows you to get up into the air, out of the way of a lot of those attacks, breaking parts, dealing all the damage you want. This right here, when he's on the ground, is a great time to smack his horns. Um, breaking Nerd Gigante's horns for a lot of people, like when I started, was pretty hard. You also want to keep a good eye on your uh, Kensei case stuff. I don't really know what that's technically called. Makes me nervous whenever he records. I still have like really bad experience whenever I first started hunting Nerdy Nazi. I've been playing for a long time. Um, but like, I played on the PlayStation Portable for a very incredibly long time, that hurt a lot. Um, and I remember like, not having multiple camps, my first time hunting with an insect life ever. Because uh, I didn't know that either. I had to roll into the training area with an insect glaive naked. Um, calc out how much. I mean, it, you know, it's not hard to calculate your stamina consumption. But you get what I'm saying. I had to look at the stamina consumption. I had to compare what they were. Um, Forty percent is pretty optimal for just about anything you're doing with the insect glaive. Anything after 40 is just kind of buttered. As you guys can see, by the time I go to do my next move in the air, I usually have most of my stamina back, other than for the dodge. myself like to stay towards Nergigante's wings, uh, 
uh, when I was practicing this with my buddy to use insect glaive, I was trying to stay towards the head. And the head's nice and all, but whenever he gets all that beefed up damage, he's kind of hard to deal with. I missed with that insect. As you guys can see, I've got the skull. And I mean, you know, whenever you go to do this, usually most people have an hour. I mean, even at 15 minutes, I'm almost at, almost at 10, a little past 10. Right around the 11 or 12 mark, and I'm doing pretty good here. I'm trying really hard. Like, when I practiced, I did manage to dodge that twice while being airborne. Um, obviously that's pretty hard to do. I was like on top of him, not rolling into a room like that, free and fresh and spanking new. Um, but if you are on his ass side, whenever he goes to do that dive bomb, you can dodge it. Very hard to do. Um, a lot of fun, makes you feel like a badass. I know when I did it, I was like super excited. going into the last area shouldn't be too bad um, in the last area you guys want to be careful when you go in he usually dive bombs twice because the first dive bomb is to take out a sidewall and when he does that he takes damage doing it and as you can watch I don't know if I have it in this capture I'll have to look at some of my other ones to see if I have video footage of it um, if so I'll put it in at the end kind of like a blooper reel uh, or maybe right here, I don't know. But it basically, I wish I would brought bombs. Um, but basically it, it forces his spikes to grow. There you guys go, see? Dive bomb right there. Um, that was kind of epic on one of my other ones and I managed to catch the dive bomb twice. But if you look at his wings, they've grown out from where they were whenever he was passed out. And like that, that's how you get past the dive bomb. You'd end up behind him. Um, I do have, I think I caught that on, uh, recording, I don't know if I was recording that practice run or not, where, like, I was behind him when he dive-bombed, and it killed me, and I pretty much rage quit, I mean, not even gonna lie, but, can you fault me? I was completely out of the range of it, um, the dive-bomb catches a lot of people, even some of your more experienced players off guard, because it is, like, an area of effects. I mean, he basically shoots those spikes out. Prime example of how much that hurts. The other thing you want to be weary of is staying right over there where those spikes have hit the ground. Um, because they can come down on you while you're in air. And they deal damage, not a lot, but it takes you out of the air and stuns you for just long enough. And we did get the third mount. Hell yeah, man. There you go, man. Mounting set. Um, the biggest thing is, is that the insect blade doesn't deal nearly as much damage as in the air as it does on the ground, but it is very good shift damage. And by raising it as best as you can, it gives you the optimal chance to really get up in the air. And in this case, I'm actually going to get the insect blade so that the insect juice is better coming out there. As you can see, I was running out of red. And we're done. That went so much better than any of my practice runs. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I was miserable. I did not do well in my practice runs. I was not sure I was gonna be doing this video. I thought I was gonna have to have somebody else and me commentate. Oh, Jesus. Um, we did okay in the group run, but again, that's a group run. Group runs definitely run differently than solo runs. So, yeah. 
Group runs, it's a lot easier to stay airborne and keep the monster off you. So you guys can see the sharpness factor does matter a fair amount. Um, that being said, I will show you guys the replacement for that at the very end of the video. Um, it's pretty simple. If you remove, as I said, you only need about 40% for the constitution. If you remove two slugger gems that I have in it, and just don't do slugger because it's not really that helpful. Um, it's just kind of something you can get early, and I put it in in place of it. Honestly, you can run without it completely. Same with the one ice. Um, I have it. You don't really necessarily need it. It is helpful though to deal a little more damage to like Nerd Gigante, who doesn't take a whole lot of ice damage. Um, but if you replace it with Constitution gems later on. And I'll show you how this works. Remove these. Physique gems. That's what you need. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got a couple of them. But if you do the two physique gems, you can actually exchange this for a handicraft gem. The only reason I didn't use the physique gems in this is because those are just a little harder to get in there. Um... But by doing this, as you can see, it sh increases the sharpness quite a bit. Um, and that should fix the sharpness issue. So, but I didn't do that just because, you know, the rule for the set is it's before Nergigante. And I know you can't max the handicraft before Nergigante. And, and I don't think constitution gems are that common. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just have shit fucking luck. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. You have a great time. Enjoy the blooper reel. Peace out.